Hey guys, it's me Sergey, and today in this video I'm going to show you how to make 3D like curves with just a pen in Figma and integrate this into your design. So stay tuned. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the wireframe. This is our starting point. Uh, we already have this asset here, so it's gonna just be placed on top. Uh, but we want to make this background more visually attractive, uh, more bright. And it's gonna look like this. So we're gonna draw this 3D looking client. It also goes to the next section here. And you see on the back of this line we have really bright gradient, really bright glowing effect that makes this line popping up even more. Okay, let's, let's get started. Uh, so this is what we have. And let's draw the line first. So we just move aside here. And before I start using uh, pen tool, I will just draw something like rectangle here. Uh, so we can see what I paint. Now we take P for the pen and we start drawing, drawing S shape. As you can see, I already have applied uh, stroke 100 or even 200 pixels, right? 200 pixels. But you can apply it later, it's fine. And we draw something quick S shape with this small curve at the end. Good. Now make sure that you don't have hard edges when you draw it. And you you will start seeing hard edges uh, when you change width of your line. Okay, almost done. I think it's good enough uh, for this case. Yeah. Yeah, it's enough. Good. So what we do next is we take this line. So I do command C and just to remember the line because we're going to paste it on top. And with shift command O, we outline the stroke. So now this is the object and this is going to be our mask. Uh, so here is the outline stroke and the next we need use as mask. I'd comment M for Mac. So now what I do is comment V and we also need to duplicate that mask. So we, we have two masks here and we have our line on top. So now we're gonna apply for this line gradient color we go here we take the color that we want be the dark one and now linear gradient and we select the bright color up sorry need to switch here and now bright color here good and now i want to highlight this edge more than this one because this edge will go behind the text and we don't want to take out of the text. So we don't want to distract from the text. Good. We don't need this anymore. Uh, what I do next is at least 50% um, width of what we already have. So it could be 50% or 100. And then we just move up. And you see it already looks like 3D. Even right now, it already looks like 3D. And we just select the shape behind and we use Control Command M to paste this line into the mask. So now when it's masked, we select the line and we apply effect layer blur. Now let's try something quick, 100. Just, just a bit too much, maybe 90 is good. Yeah, 90 is good. Good. 
Uh, I don't need this background anymore because we already can see. Good. So I don't want that people see how this ends uh, here and here, and I want to shade it out. So we take another rectangle and we take the color of the background, uh, which is 111 here, and we go to make linear gradient that goes to full transparency. So we turn this here and I want to kind of like hide this part from people so to make it, you know, more matching with background. So we paste it here as well. Right, good. There we go. And I select everything, common G. So now we have like one element here. Um, okay, let's try how it looks in the design. So we cut this out with common X and now we go to the frame. So it will paste into the frame, common V. Um, awesome, that looks awesome. And you see how it's like going through the logo, it move the eye of the user down to the page and we want to make it go to the next section here and we make it even larger. Right, yeah. But you can see how it's like really not visible here at all. And one thing that we need to do, we need to take that that shape that we had in the back and we want to apply the same background color as we have for the page. Right now it's matching even more, which is good, but we want this element to pop up here. Like, you know, so we don't see, it looks like just a gradient, but we want to make it look like 3D object here. And to make it possible, we just take we just make a circle and we apply the same gradient style that we have applied that we have applied to the stroke. There we go. And we apply now gradient. Oh, sorry, blur, layer blur. Like real blur, like 400. 400 is enough, I think. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And what we do now, we place it here, okay? And we want to move it to the back. So now with highlighting the background, the backdrop, we can see that this part is popping up even more. So we see that this is like, something looks like more 3D. Good. Now I move it also up here and to the back. So you see this part, is awesome. This part is awesome. Okay, but we can still see this effect is shadowing. So what we can do, we can just like, maybe just move it a bit out. So it's not interfering. Or You know what, like on this part, I don't even need this at all. Like I can simply remove it. Right. I guess I don't see this shape here. And we can even move it even more down. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this code is even more looks like 3D. Good. Something like this. Nice. And now with this light on the back, we really can feel this 3D effect. Nice. But I also don't want to this text to be really interfering um, with the object. So I just duplicate it and I place it on top. And now we just maybe do like 60. Good. So this is 60 opacity. We already have everything prepared and now we just need to move this top object together with our 3D curves way to the back 
and yeah, to the back and few steps up. Right, so this is the right position here. Good, and I still can see this, but I want to really hide it. Um, so what we do, we just like take this and move it to the right, to the point where we, or even just make it smaller a bit, right? Because what we want to do is we just want to highlight this edge, not more. Okay, and not too much, right? So it's looking cool. Uh, and now we just place the object. So common X, we go here and we want to paste it above the mask. So this group, paste it, good. And just a few steps up because I can see, right, so this goes down and a few steps up. Good. And again, this object just one step. You know what? I think it, it's not in the right position now. We do it again. Down and a few steps up. Nice. Good. And just a few steps up. Okay. And we see that. This ellipse is still here. Okay. One more. Yeah, this is the right spot. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So it's already done. Just with just with the pen tool, we just draw really awesome 3D looking curve. And you can you can continue doing this, like you can put this down. Uh, to other sections, you can turn uh, the curve now. And this one is quite bold. You can also play with the width, uh, which also will get like nice result. And as a bonus, let's make let's make that bright star that we've seen on the original design here. So like super fast. So we take we take the star object from here. So draw the star from from the center, and now we apply let's say twelve edges. Make it thin. Take the color from the button. Now let's draw this oval. Good. Apply the same color, and we just apply effect a blur layer blur. I, I wish Figma optimized access to the effects uh, a bit more. So imagine if you would see like icons here and you click the icon and you take the access to the entire UI and not click in this toggle multiple times. Yeah, this UX might be really improved here. Okay. And yeah, place it exactly in the middle, like just a bit more and maybe less opacity. So just like, you know, glowing nice. Yeah, I love it. Good. Um, okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And yeah, see you. Bye.